Hi everybody! Today we are going to create a cityscape inspired by the artist James Rizzi. And he lived in New York City and loved the city. So he was really inspired by it and ended up drawing it. But he kind of made his a little bit funky. So we're gonna start by adding some rectangles going across our paper. You don't want them super skinny. Mine are about three fingers wide, so you would probably want yours about four fingers wide. And I am making some vertical lines going up and down, horizontal lines going across, and then vertical lines going back down. And I want some of them to be taller than others, and shorter just to give it a bit of variety so that it doesn't all look the same. I'm also making some a little bit wider and some a little bit thinner but not so skinny that I'm not going to be able to draw the next part. So now I have buildings going all the way across my foreground that's right in front of us. The next thing that I'm going to do is add another layer of buildings behind so it gives our artwork a little bit more depth. So what we are going to do is we're going to come up from a building, over, and back down. You can also kind of come out and down. Again, we're using a lot of vertical lines coming up, horizontal lines coming across, and vertical lines going down. Okay, so now I have some buildings in the background, some buildings in the foreground, and then the sky way behind. James Rizzi is best known for adding kind of funky faces to his buildings. They are silly and fun. They're cartoonish. It's kind of, it's, they're fun to make. So you don't need to make a different face on every single building, but I do want to see some different faces. You could think of like a cartoon character and maybe a face that they have or a silly face that you like drawing or making. And we are just gonna draw some silly faces on some of our buildings. At this point, I have most of my faces finished, and what I am going to work on next is adding some fun details to the tops of our buildings so that they're not all just flat straight across. So you can add some rectangles, you could add some other shapes on top just to give each building kind of a different look. You can also think about the personality of each building and kind of add some extra details to make it look a bit more interesting and individual compared to the others. After we have added the different tops to our buildings, what we are going to do is we're going to be adding different windows and doors. So remember that each building wants to be a little bit different. I might add a couple of windows going across this one. And notice they're in a row. And then you would also have room for another row below and you would think about what kind of door you want your building to have so i'm going to keep adding the details on to my james rizzi inspired artwork and you will add yours At this point, I have finished my whole entire picture and I am going to start to color. So I'm gonna pick one color for my sky and 
just color the whole entire sky with one color. One of the things that I like to do on a piece of artwork like this is I like to use warm colors in the foreground and then cooler colors in the background. The warm colors tend to really pop and stand out, which makes them look even more like they are in front of everything else. And all I'm going to do is I'm just gonna color in one building with one color going around the eyes and around the windows and doors because I might use different colors on those detail parts. And that I'm just gonna use whichever colors I like. I don't need to worry about if it's warm or cool. But for the buildings themselves, I want to see you differentiating, so noticing the difference between warm and cool colors. At this point, I have colored the main part of each of my buildings, and I want you to notice that the brighter, warm colors really do tend to pop forward than our cooler colors. So it is kind of a nice effect just by using a different color family to be able to get some extra depth. At this point, I am going to color in the rest of my details and I can use whatever colors make me happy for my details. I do want to see the windows colored in, the any of the doors and details like this. We're gonna color in the rest of our work. Alrighty, art friends, at this point I have finished my entire city in the style of the artist James Rizzi. I hope you enjoyed creating yours, and I will see you next time. Bye, everybody!